Hello and welcome to Surprise Toy Box. So I spent last weekend putting together some of the sets from that bulk lot that I bought from Salvation Army. And it looks like there's a lot of Ninjago stuff. So this is the Ninjago Fire Temple, I think it's called. Um, all the minifigures are complete. Um, Master Wu is missing a staff, but all the other ones have their accessories. Um, the build itself is actually incomplete. There's a lot of missing pieces. Um, yeah, so there's like missing things here. This drum thing sits on them. Um, there's like the doors, has the dragons on it. Uh, you see this towel on the roof is missing. The stands here are missing. This like part of the doorway is missing, but um, like it's enough to put together most of the set. There's like this one um, doesn't have the little like thing that makes it like curve down. So yeah, like I'd say maybe 80% complete. Um, there's a lot more, so I kind of like sort of everything into piles. Um, this is a bag of mini things that I still have to get through. Um, this is Destiny's Bounty. Uh, and then the sails of the ship. Um, the bottom here is part of the Hobbit hole. Here's the roof of the Hobbit hole. Um, more pieces that I think belong to the Hobbit hole. Um, definitely not complete, but the, the minifigures are actually all in here, so I'm gonna sort through that as well. And if we look at this mess on the floor here, this is part of the dragon that goes with the fire temple, so I haven't sorted through that yet. Um, the wings are there. I think the head is there, but it's probably not quite complete. We'll see. Um, this is another Ninjago set. This this thing is complete, I think. But then I have to build like the vehicle and stuff. Um, then it looks like there's some city sets, like a plane or something. Um, and then here is another Ninjago set that I have to put together. So this is just a vehicle. Um, so there's like one, two, three, four, four. Um, possible Ninjago sets from this bulk lot plus the the Hobbit set so that's five like incomplete sets um, we'll see if anything is complete but there's already a lot of missing pieces on the fire temple so I don't know if it's worth um, ordering pieces from Lego um, it is an older set from 2011 maybe I'm not sure actually I don't really follow the Ninjago line and on to some new stuff that I picked up this week. I did go to the Salvation Army on Monday and I just grabbed this notebook uh, for $1.99. I thought it was pretty cute. So um, it's just a cat and a dog, a Shiba Inu. And there's like cute designs on each page, like that. And then there's like line pages. So it kind of like alternates. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'll use this to like write down some ideas and stuff, my to-do lists. Also grabbed this yesterday for $1.99. Um, this was in the household goods section, I think because the person who was pricing it um, didn't realize it wasn't just the box. So it's like a wagon, but if you open it up, it is actually the 10 disc set of um, Toy Story 1, 2, and 3. So each um, movie comes with a DVD, a Blu-ray, the digital copy, and then there's this tenth. This is a bonus material. Oh, not this one. Um, this one maybe? I don't know. One of these. Here we go. No. I don't know. I actually already own these three movies. Um, two on Blu-ray and then the third one on Blue. No, wait. The first two on DVD and then I have the third one on Blu-ray. Um, but I actually couldn't pass this up for only $2. Um, I'm sure someone will buy it from me. Next is a bit of an unexpected Lego haul from Lego Shop at Home. This is the Lego Creator Bookshop. Um, this is a $200 in Canada. Um, this is only the second or third modular that I bought. I actually haven't built any yet. Um, I like it because you know, it's a bookshop. And let me show you the back. So I think it's considered a pretty small modular given the price point. Um, a lot of them are like $260 or $250. This one's only 200 
and it does look smaller. So there's like an apartment building next to the bookstore. Um, and the reason why I bought this um, first was to get this. So this is the new Adidas like promo set. Um, they dropped the Adidas Lego shoe, um, and this was the gift purchase if you spend $110 or more in Canada. Um, I like this because um, I thought the minifigure was cute with the Adidas box. So it looks like that. Um, and if you spent, at, at first I thought it was $150 in Canada, but turns out it was actually $200 um, in Canada, um, is this repeat promo set, the Charles Dickens uh, tribute, I think it's called. It's like the Charles, a Christmas Carol Charles Dickens book with like the characters on top. And that's pretty cool. There's this little like secret drawer that comes out. Yeah, so I had to buy both of them. Well, I had to spend $200 to get both of these. And it was like a secret um, third promo, which was Devil VIP. And I did end up redeeming $15 in my VIP points um, to get this. So probably not the best time to use your VIP points when it's double VIP, but whatever. Um, so this box is a bit damaged, so you can see like there's a giant crease here on the front There's actually scratching on the box. So I'm, not, I'm actually gonna exchange this. Um, I have to send it um, back to Lego using FedEx and unfortunately FedEx is quite far away from me. So I have to lug it around So that is the update this week. I'm trying to find more crap at um, the Salvation Army because I like finding treasures. Um, trying to you know hold off on the Lego um, buying until at least Black Friday. But um, two of my coworkers bought stuff for these promos, so I got sucked in peer pressure. Anyways, that's all for now. Remember to subscribe, leave a comment, a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.